So my name is David Steinberger. I am a middle and upper school science teacher here at Fredericksburg Academy in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, I've been at FA for eight years, and I've been working for the Alliance doing volunteer work for a little over three years at this point. So we are at Deep Run Creek. This creek feeds into the Rappahannock River, so it's obviously part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. We're pretty close to the headwaters. The headwaters are about a half mile to a mile um, upstream to the west of us, and we're probably about three, four-ish miles from the Rappahannock here. My favorite part, in all honesty, is getting students out here to engage in real-world science. So um, a lot of my students, when they first come to me, envision science as, hey, I'm going to wear this white lab coat and goggles and be in a lab in a very sterile environment. And while certainly that's a part of science, that's definitely not the entire spectrum of what scientists do. So to expose them to science that happens outside is a big plus for me. And then to have something they're doing that's more of a longitudinal study where it's not just a one and done lab, but every month we're gonna to come to the spot and we're gonna test these numbers for them to see that science can be an ongoing process and that we can see trends over a long period of time is pretty awesome. I believe that especially for young people, there's a disconnect between if they're just learning something on a screen or in a book versus doing it hands-on. Um, they can certainly learn the content, no question asked, whether it being online or in a book but it seems like something happening out there. Somebody else is doing it. Um, somebody else has figured this out. And it has this degree of separation between themselves and the material. When I think students get outside and they actually engage in doing it, there's that connection, that aha moment of, oh, wait a minute, maybe I'm actually a scientist. Maybe I can actually contribute to science. And maybe it's not just this foreign thing that other people are doing. When I started, I had some expectations as to what I might find but I feel like I now have a relationship with this creek. Um, and I can make a prediction as to what I'm gonna find on a monthly basis, whether it's what's the dissolve oxygen be like in the summertime versus the winter, or when do I expect there's gonna be a spike in bacteria. I've gotten to learn a little bit of the cycles that have happened. I, I didn't expect to pick up on it. I'll be honest, when I first started, I was a little overwhelmed with all the chemistry going into the titrations and all that kind of thing. and. Um, it now seems more like second nature. So I really enjoyed developing that relationship. It can be very overwhelming to think about all the things that are happening in the world right now. Um, this is something that we can control on an individual level do that makes a pretty big difference. That um, we have a watershed here that if we can focus more on it and, and do something like monthly water quality testing or as simple as just uh, picking up trash along a river, it can make a big difference and we can make an impact.